everyone. Thanks for joining me. Uh, I'm going to do a couple of coasters on some ceramic tile. Uh, I've already pre-mixed everything. Um, for those of you who want to know what I mixed, how I mix it, if there's a pouring medium, um, it's just basically Floetrol and paint. Um, no water, no silicone, just Floetrol. There's no ratio. Um, I just put Floetrol in, add a little bit of paint, make sure it's at a thin consistency. So on this set of four, the colors I'm using is Artist Loft Copper, uh, Liquitex Basics Dioxazine Purple, Pebeo's Studio Acrylics is Opaque Primary Yellow, and the last one is Artist Loft Metallic Cobalt Blue. Um, for this one, what I did was I went to the hardware store and I grabbed a bunch of uh, paint chips, um, which is actually a great idea if you're ever wondering what color palettes would go good together. It doesn't necessarily mean they'll go good in a pour. It, it could end up muddy, I don't know, but at least you get an idea of colors that match well with each other. So that might be an idea if you head out to the hardware store and the paint department, um, just grab a bunch of paint chips and, and you know, you get an idea of what's a, what's a good color palette, um, what colors go well together. So I've never done it before, so I'm gonna try it today. This is the color palette I chose. So um, this says carbon, which is almost like a black. So I chose um, Payne's Gray by Liquitex Basics. Uh, this purple here is Prism Violet by Liquitex Basics. And the cream color is Buff Titanium by Pebeo Studio Acrylics. So that's what we'll do with that one. And then the one here on the end, uh, we have Academy's Phthalo Blue, I have Liquitex Basics Brilliant Blue, I have Deco Art Metallic Rose Gold, and finally, again, the Studio Acrylics uh, Iridescent Blue Green. Uh, when I get to that one, I'll turn the tripod, o tripod over so you can see. So let's get started really quickly here. I've already mixed my white paint, which is Artist Loft Flow, Flow Acrylic in white. I've put my Floetrol in here, so it's not a thick consistency. It's very thin, as you can see. It just drips right off the popsicle stick. So let's get started. I'm going to just make sure all the tiles are together as much as possible. Just move these over a bit. There we go. I'm just gonna grab a glove. Looks like there's something here in my paint. If I can get it, I really need to get myself some tweezers. There we go. All right, so just spread it around. Again, I'll be doing the uh, blow dryer technique. I really, really enjoy it. Um, these are also more like practice rounds for me. Um, I went and bought uh, or custom ordered some MDF round boards. Um, had a little slight minor miscalculation and I ordered a massive uh, 36 inch wooden board. I actually have three of them. So I'd like to try and do some different color combinations and see what I like the best because that's what's going to go on the big wooden round. 
Okay, so I think I'm gonna start with the copper. Pour it down here. I got the purple. Yellow. And finally, my absolute favorite color, the cobalt blue. Okay. So we will add the white all the way around. Okay, and let's see what happens. All right, so now we'll blow back. really pretty. It's so rainbow-ish. I like that. All right, so now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move these out of the way first. And I'm going to pull, pull apart the coasters so I can let the remaining paint drip down the sides. So pretty. I really like that. The copper. See, I did this color combination um, in one of my previous videos, the diptych. Um, but instead of copper, I used orange. So the copper is so much nicer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add any white wherever there's some blank spaces here on the tiles like so get yourself one of these they're amazing very convenient to have it's just from the dollar store it's perfect for those little touch-ups there's a bunch of white paint missing on the side here just like that I'm wondering, I think I'm just going to give it a little quick blow over here. And voila. And I got to tell you, I forgot my torch, my culinary torch to pop all the bubbles. So I'm going to run and get that. Give me 10 seconds. Sorry, guys. I totally forgot it upstairs. I was using it for varnishing my canvases and I left it up there. Be right back. Okay, I'm back. Sorry about that, guys. I think I just got quite the workout out at uh, 10.45 at night. <laughs> All right, so what we wanna do is pop any bubbles, maybe get a few cells. Let's see what happens. Okay, so I'm gonna leave it at that. I'm also running out of butane. Of course, this doesn't seem to be my night. So I'm just going to 
finish touching up the sides here. Just like that. Looks like, no, oh, this whole side here doesn't have any white paint. There we go. Covered, perfect. And a little bit here, and this one is done. I lied. There's some over here. Okay, I think I'm actually good. Okay, so that is that one. I will try my best to remember to do a close up before I end the night. So next, let's do this one. Get the white paint. Let's see if I can move you just a bit here without knocking everything over. There we go. Let's see how this one turns out. Okay, I'm just gonna move it around, cover all the corners, the edges. There we go. Perfect. And we're going to pop the bubbles. But first I need to put some butane in this. Sorry guys. Totally unprepared tonight. Okay, that should do it for now. Put that away so we don't have a fire. Okay. So we'll pop a few bubbles. There we go. And let's add our colors. I think I'm gonna start with the Payne's Gray. And then the Buff Titanium. And the Purple. And let's see how this works out. We'll find out in a second. So we take our white, flood it around. Okay, we'll pop any bubbles here as well. Let's see what happens. Oops, I lost a lot of it over the edge here. Uh, let's see what happens if I do a little bit of that.
Okay, so this looks good. This not so much. So let's see if I can maybe add maybe some more color here. Maybe here. I have no idea what I'm doing, so trial and error, everybody. Trial and error. Uh, let's add some of this. And just for kicks, throw on some white. I have no idea if this is going to work, but let's see. A fan at all uh, I don't like that this one coaster looks fantastic but other than that I do not like the rest of it let's see if I can salvage it with the torch and see if there are any cells that might come up. I have nothing. Okay, so that did not work out as planned. Let's move on, shall we? Move those out of the way and I'll come back to this one later. I don't know. The more I look at it, it's kind of growing on me. Uh, I'll fix it later. Okay, so last one. Just going to move all these paint bottles out of the way. And I'm going to carefully move my tripod, so bear with me, guys. Alrighty. Okay. There we go. Last but not least, let's see what happens with this one. So... Start with the white. And spread it around. All right. Okay, so I really need to fill this up. Yeah, it's dead. Okay, let me try this again, guys. Now we're talking. Let's see. Yep. Little cells on there. Well, that's better. Much better. I like that. All right, back to this one. Pop all the bubbles. Okay. I'm going to start with the blue. 
here. And the rose gold. And finally, my second favorite color, almost like a light blue turquoisey color. That's a lot of paint on there. Alrighty. Let's see what happens with this one. Fingers crossed. Let's hope for at least two out of three. Although I'm telling you, the more I look at that, the more I'm actually liking it. Okay, let's see what happens here. Oh, lovely. All right, let's go back. So pretty. I like it. It looks great. I love blue. If you watched my previous videos, You'll see I tell you again how much I love blue. My favorite color is blue. Whoa, gotta keep these centered. You wanna try and keep them level as well. You don't want them to be crooked or tilting because then while you wait for these to dry, they will just paint will just slide off the side and that oh and that is it you'll lose it so I got my finger in there and I got blue but I can fix it very easy to fix who is this see and just like that it's like it never even happened all right, so let's add some white. Check all my edges here. Actually, I'll do that later off camera. You don't need to see me do that. I'm going to torch. Turn it down now. Not too much. And there we go. Okay. I'm gonna bring you guys in for a close-up before I forget and show you guys what these look like up close. So bear with me, guys. Okay, so let's start with the first one. I really love the copper and the turquoise. It's so pretty. And there's that one. And purples, which I'm actually liking now. So definitely like this one now too. And there's that one. And finally, 
the blue with the rose gold. Okay, and there you have it guys. Three sets of coasters done and finished. I'll touch up the edges off camera. You don't need to be bothered with that. So please feel free to comment. Let me know your thoughts. Feel free to give it a thumbs up and please subscribe and click on the little notification bell to get notifications when I post my next videos. So thanks for tuning in guys. Thanks for watching and I'll be back soon. Bye.